Welcome my friends of the interwebs and welcome to a very special edition of my real life series. Um, I think I'm going to call this the, the election series. <laughs> the election series. It's uh, You know we're in October and we've got a, an election coming up here in November. Should be kind of interesting. I've been keeping an eye on some uh, Bell, Bell uh, County politics. And by the way, this video is really, it's, it's more geared towards my subscribers that actually live in Bell County, Kentucky. Um, and it, that number is growing. It's in, in a lot of supporters, uh, I might add. The rest of you can come along for the ride, but for the most part, we're going to be talking a little bit about real life politics in, uh, in Bell County. Um, <laughs> really, the, the only race that I concern myself with, to be honest with you, um, is the one for uh, Bell County Sheriff. And uh, I have a bit of an extra great, but listen, before I even start that, uh, I, I want to say that this video is not going to be an endorsement for anybody because I don't want to run afoul of the uh, campaign election finance uh, laws. Um, this isn't going to be about vote for so-and-so. Although I think there's only one person running against Sheriff Bennett, so... You know, <laughs> whatever, whatever. Um, this is going to be just kind of reliving some past events, uh, uh, dealing with my experience with uh, with Sheriff Bennett and um, what I would like to see as far as uh, uh, it, it. Well, I should say what I would like to see. I've got to be very careful here um, because, like I said, there are laws of, of finance laws when it comes to campaigning. Um, all right, so I think I've established that I'm not actually campaigning. For uh, for Sheriff Bennett's uh, opposition, uh, this is just uh, uh, more um, about Sheriff Bennett. <laughs> See, you know, here's the thing, you, you know, it, it, sometimes I just need to learn to keep my mouth shut. All right, anyway, um, if you've watched my real life video series, you know my feelings about Sheriff Bennett. Um, and if you haven't watched my real life video series, you should watch it. And then make your, your own mind about Sheriff Bennett. Sheriff Bennett does have his um, supporters. <laughs> I'm sure that Pinhead's a big supporter of Sheriff Bennett. Um, yeah, he's got his supporters. He's got some people hoodwinked. Um, you know, he comes off as a nice old man. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, is that you know his his office has been incompetent or corrupt for a very long time. Um, I've, I've not got the evidence to actually, uh, well I shouldn't say I've got the, I don't have the evidence. Well, I lean towards corrupt with a mix of uh, incompetence, <laughs> okay? Uh, there are some people that will, uh, will, will make the argument that they're just incompetent. Um, either way, the whole, the whole Sheriff's Department needs uh, a shakeup. Now some of the younger deputies, uh, and I know a couple of them personally, are good guys. I don't think they're, they're well, they're not, I don't believe they're corrupt. Um, I think if they stay within that system for any length of time, that will probably, unfortunately, change. Um, I think the higher ups in the Bell County Sheriff's Department um, need to be removed from, from their position as deputy sheriffs, uh, for sure, absolutely. And I'm hoping that if Sheriff Bennett is not reelected, that that will happen that there will be a major shakeup from the top down. Uh, keep some of the younger deputies, uh, if, if you've been a deputy for, I don't know, let's say less than 10 years, you know, your job should be secure. Um, but if you've been around long enough to be corrupted by that whole situation, then you got to go. Because it's all about uh, proper law enforcement in Bell County, in which we don't have right now. And I say we, and I feel very comfortable with saying we, because I pay a fair amount of taxes in Bell County. I have a house in Bell County. Um, you know, so yeah, you, you may look and listen to me with my northern accent and think, well, you know, who is he to say? Well, I'm telling you who I am to say. You know, my tax money goes to pay the, the sheriff's salary. <laughs> so I have something to say. I may not be a registered voter in, in, in Bell County, but uh, I do believe that as a landowner and a taxpayer, um, I, I do have a say in, in what goes on, especially when you consider how many times I've actually went to the Sheriff's Department in need of help and was turned away. And at one point even so really threatened with being arrested. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's really a, a pathetic situation. Um, you know, we've got a Sheriff's Department when 
you go into it, and I'll give you a real life example. I went into the sheriff's department um, after you know, Pinhead had pulled a gun on me, and I just really wanted a police report that he had that he had brandished a weapon. Um, and they wouldn't even take the police report. Didn't want to, you know. Now, of course, it's no big secret that, you know, Pinhead's daddy and the sheriff are buddies, you know, for whatever that's worth. But uh, I literally had to hunt down a law enforcement officer that would take a police report for me. Uh, happened to be a, uh, a, a um, state cop, a, a state highway patrolman. That's pretty sad, you know. And the other situation when, you know, Pinhead, it, you know, was stealing my timber, I said, you know, I told the sheriff's department, I said, look, just send a cruiser out there, take a report, just a report of who's actually cutting the timber over there. And their attitude was, well, you know, we don't know it's your property. We don't, we're, we're not surveyor. I, I, I had a door, I said, I, just make a report so when I sue somebody, I've got a document saying, yes, this person was cutting timber at this area on this date. Couldn't get them to do that. You know, it, it's pathetic. Now, lately, the Bell County Sheriff's Department has been ramping up their law enforcement efforts. Uh, I've been busting a lot of drug dealers. <laughs> of course, for the last how many years they haven't busted anybody. Um, and, I, and I really, and I've always said this, they cherry pick who, who, who they bust and who they don't. And, uh, and it's the sad truth of it. It really is. It's the sad truth of it. There are certain people that are clearly on a do not touch, touch list. Uh, for, for whatever reason, you make up your mind. I'm sure it has something to do with somebody getting paid off. Um, or, you know, relationships or whatever. Somebody had sent me a, uh, an email one time, or, or a PM on YouTube, and they said, Hey, just want to direct you to a video of uh, the sheriff doing the ri ribbon cutting at uh, Pinhead's family's uh, new business. And, uh, and, and underneath it, it said, that's pretty much all you need to know about uh, the sheriff of Bell County. <laughs> you know? People, those of you that are capable uh, or registered to vote, I should say, in Bell County, I hope and pray that you do not reelect that man. I really do. I, I think, to be honest with you, things would get much better if you didn't. Um, we need law enforcement in Bell County that is uh, honest. Honest. We need honest law enforcement. You know? I mean, that's what we need. We don't need people who turn a blind eye to certain people that are dealing drugs or, you know, doing their thing. Um, we need somebody that is straight up and honest. And I, I don't think we get that with Sheriff Bruce Bennett. I really don't. You know, and somebody did make the argument at one time that, you know, he was a hell of a law enforcement man at one time. Well, I didn't know him that. <laughs> you know, maybe he was. Maybe he's just gotten to an age where he's no longer effective and some of the underlings that are high up in, in the sheriff's department are taking advantage of, of that. You know, I don't know where the corruption starts. doesn't matter to me. The fact is it's corrupt. You know. I mean, that's, that's pretty much the end of the story for me. So, you know, you'll have an opportunity here coming up to change all that. And some people say, well, the guy that's running against him, you know, he hasn't proven himself. Or he, you know what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's your argument? He hasn't proven himself? Well, what's he done? Well, I'll tell you what he hasn't done. That I can tell he hasn't not done his job. He hasn't turned a blind eye to drug dealers. You know. This is your opportunity. I mean, all you have to do is pick up a newspaper and see exactly what's been going on lately with all these drug busts and all this pressure on the drug dealers and stuff that hasn't been. What, so he's only going to do it. Let's just say he's not corrupt. I hate to say that, but let's just say he's not. So what, he's only going to do his job during election time? Because how many years has it been? I mean, come on. I, you're kidding me, right? I don't know. Anyway, I will probably have much more to say about Bruce Bennett in the, in the very up, near upcoming future. Um, for those of you who are from Bell County and have been uh, uh, fans of my real life series, I appreciate the support. Um, I always knew that it would be, it was only a matter of time before people from that neck of the woods started to, uh, to watch my videos and um, I'm glad to have you. And uh, for those of you who hate that I spotlight the, some of the negative aspects of Appalachia, all I do is report what goes on in real life. Um, I love Appalachia. It's where my roots are from. My family's from there. 
Um, I've spent a lot of my life in Appalachia, and I've spent a lot of my life in Bell and Knox County, Kentucky. Um, it's not my intentions to tear anything down. I'd like to be part of the rebuilding process. And having said that, in order to rebuild, you have to move forward. In order to move forward, we got to get rid of what's. The, we, we, listen, we got to take the trash out. We just have to. Uh, Bell County, Kentucky, leads the nation in oxycontin deaths. You know. Anyway, listen, I will be back with more of this um, special edition real life videos and uh, everybody just take care.